A simple walk in nature can help you focus on a demanding task. And in this video, we're going to explore why this is. And I'll explain how it's benefited me in my life and how you can get the same benefits yourself. It's all too often believed that more work equals greater productivity. And while putting in the time and effort is certainly fundamental to getting more done, it can actually be counterproductive when you overexert yourself, as prolonged periods of work can be to the detriment of your focus and concentration, never mind your mental health. So it's pretty understandable then, that when you work, you need to take breaks to allow you to refresh yourself and maintain highly productive output when working. I know, not exactly mind-blowing information, but stick with me here. You see, while most of us know the importance of taking breaks, what we often underappreciate is how those breaks can impact you and especially your focus. This is something I've experienced myself, having worked in a number of places where I almost always took my lunch breaks to go for a walk. What's interesting is that when I have my break, where I walk will heavily influence my focus when returning back to work. This is due to something known as the Attention Restoration Theory, or ART for short. The theory comes from psychologists Rachel and Stephen Kaplan, who theorised that spending time in nature helped improve concentration. A number of studies have been conducted around the theory and many have concluded that it holds true, but even if you don't specifically spend time in nature, the environment can still play a role in helping your focus. The fundamental nature of why the theory works comes down to how our attention is held. A busy environment requires more effort and attention, meaning it can be draining as opposed to a quiet place. For example, in my case I usually find that when I go for a walk, the more I spend time in a quiet place, the more refreshed I feel when compared to those times I'm taking a lunch break in the centre of London. This is because when walking around busy streets, I'm constantly alerted to potential risks of obstacles to navigate. This is weaving my way around a large number of people or crossing at a busy road. By the time the break is over, I usually don't feel too refreshed as I've spent the whole break in active attention on my surroundings. In contrast, when I take a walk in a quiet area where my attention isn't required as much, my energy levels and focus afterwards are significantly better, leading to lower stress levels and fundamentally better quality of work and less fatigue at the end of the day. However, another layer to the busy versus quiet walks is the role that nature plays, as it's been found that being in nature can further benefit your focus through the day, due to something called soft fascinations. The dynamism and fluidity found in nature can lead your mind to constantly feeling a sense of engagement in your surroundings, without needing effort in your attention. This is similar in principle to practising mindfulness, as you're aware of your present surroundings but don't require a great deal of effort or energy in engaging with them, as opposed to a busy street where you're forced to be more actively alert. And even for those who are able to effectively switch off when walking around a busy street, it's nigh on impossible to get the same experience, as aspects of your brain still need to be engaged and focused on your surroundings. So now that we've gone through some of the detail of the theory, let me explain how to apply it. Rather than simply saying I'm going to walk in nature every day, my application of this idea comes down to a couple of factors in my working day. The first is the type of work I'm engaged in, and secondly when I choose to take my break. For example, if I'm working on something that requires deep levels of focus and attention, then in most cases I'll be interested in taking walks in nature for my lunch break. This is because when I return to work, the one thing I want to avoid is a feeling of tiredness or fatigue when trying to do something difficult. However, in the off chance I'm not able to walk in nature, I'll usually seek to walk in an environment that's ideally extremely quiet even often going as far as avoiding paths where I encounter people to reach there. This might seem rather extreme, but I'm acutely aware that I find places with more people more draining, so I prefer to stay on quiet paths. Then again, maybe it just comes down to I don't like people. The other factor is when I take my lunch break, as I'm less stringent on walking in a quiet natural space if I take a late walk, as I'm aware that I probably won't need high levels of focus on my return to work, usually it's picking up admin tasks before the end of the working day. And one other aspect I've found is my walks are often the same on most days, in that there isn't a lot of variety on which paths I take. This comes down to it being an automated routine for me, meaning I'm less likely to be in a position where I need to make decisions, effectively reserving my energy for my work. This isn't to say I don't vary things, but it again comes down to the nature of the work I'm doing on that particular day. All in all, understanding how I can utilise my walks to benefit my focus and concentration 
has helped me do better quality of work with greater productivity, and I highly recommend planning and structuring your walks to benefit you in the same way. It's not limited to a job either, you can apply this principle in whatever nature of work you do, ultimately a simple idea can go a long way.